Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video you will learn how to properly use the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser and then follow it up with either the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion or the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream, which also depends on your skin concern. Now, this can be a very simple and straightforward routine which can be used daily in the morning and evening. And we are going to start off with step number one, which is also washing the face with the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. Now, this cleanser can be used on all skin types, even if you have dry, sensitive skin, as it is a fragrance-free cleanser as well as non-comedogenic, which also means that it won't or clog your pores or irritate your skin. And this cleanser is also not only meant for your face and neck area, but you also can use it on the rest of your body as well as your hands if you like to. Now I'm going to demonstrate it on my face and neck area, but it will be the exact same if you're using it on other body parts. And then the only thing that may change is that you're not going to do it in front of the sink, but also maybe in the shower, which is fine too, and it's definitely more convenient. Now I'm going to start off with also demonstrating how you can use the cleanser. Now there are two different methods, depending also on your preference and also what feels the best. But one thing that doesn't change is also how you're going to apply it. You're going to use it on dry skin, then use also a small amount to a fair amount, depending if you're using it on your face or on your body, and then massage it into the skin. And then once you're done with massaging it into the skin, you can either remove it with cotton pads or also with a fresh cloth if you like to. This would be the dry removal. Or you can also rinse it off with water if you like to. Now I'm going to show you both ways. You can also try both ways at home and then see also what feels the best for you. And based on that, you can also choose the method that works the best, that feels the best, and that's basically it. Now I'm going to use a small amount for my face and neck area. If you also want to use it for your body, then I recommend using a bit more since those areas are a bit larger. And then massage it into the skin. Please do not get it into your eyes when also using it around your eye area. So, and after you are done with massaging it into the skin, you now can decide if you want to rinse it off with water or also use it with cotton pad or cloth. Now, I just want to mention, if you are getting it into your eyes, please rinse it immediately also with water. Now I'm going to show you at first how you can also use it with cotton pads. Now go ahead, grab a fresh cotton pad and then you can also start swiping it all across your face to also remove the cleanser. Now when using it the dry way with cotton pad or also a cloth, then you will also feel a light film over the skin. It's kind of protecting the skin. So this is normal when also removing it with cotton pads. Or if you like to, you can also take a fresh towel and basically do the same thing as I've just showed you also with the cotton pads. Now if you want to also rinse it off with water because that's something that you prefer, it also may feel better for your skin and also that you feel maybe a little bit more secure that you have rinsed it off completely and you do not really have a sensitive skin based on when you're also using it with water, then you can also rinse it above your sink or also rinsing it off in the shower, that's totally up to you. Now I also recommend to have it a little bit easier, doesn't matter if it's for your body or also your face, uh, using a fresh cloth in between which you can also wet and then this way you can also gently remove the cleanser, that's fine too. So it basically just depends if you want to include water with the cleanser or if you want to remove it the drier way. So, and if you decided to also rinse it off with water or use a wet cloth in between to also get the cleanse off, then you can also go ahead and use a fresh towel and pat the skin dry, which is not needed if you're already removing it the dry way.
So, and once you are done with cleansing your face, you have washed your face, then now you can also move ahead and also choose between the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion or the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. Now the main difference is that the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion is a little bit lighter, still hydrates the skin and it's also suitable for all skin types. With the Cetaphil Cream, this one is for sure a little bit thicker in texture, which is also suitable for like if you have dry to very dry skin as it is also a little bit thicker in texture. So depending on your skin concern you may want to use one of them or choose both and you can also go ahead and use for your face if you like to the lighter version and if you're a little bit dry on your body then you can also go ahead and use the moisturizing cream or only stick with one too early with like with one of them. This basically depends on your concern. Now I'm going to stick with the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion as I have a combination skin. I prefer to also use a moisturizer that's a bit lighter since I do not suffer from really dry skin. However, the same would also be with the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. Now both creams are also non-comedogenic which also won't clog your pores and they are also fragrance free. Now if you want to use either the Cetaphil cream or moisturizing lotion for your face and neck area, I recommend around a pea size amount. If you want to use it for your body, you can also use a bit more since your body is also a little bit like depending on the part, you may want to use a bit more cream. Like so. Same would be with the Cetaphil moisturizing cream. Use it between your hands and gently apply it all over your face and neck area. Please make sure again to not get it into your eyes. If this happens, then please also rinse it with water. So, and the same application would also be if you're going to use it on your body. After you are done with washing your body with the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser, you can take a fair amount and also use the moisturizing lotion or moisturizing cream on your body. Give it a bit of a moment to also sink into the skin. And that's basically it. This is also how simple you can keep it. Now, I want to mention that also when using this uh, routine in the morning and also when being exposed to the sun, Please also don't forget as your last step to also protect your skin with a good sunscreen. Not only your face and neck area where you use the, pro like the, pro the products, but basically also with the rest of your body, wherever your skin is being exposed to the sun, so that you can also protect it from be getting sunburned. Now this is basically what I wanted to share with you. This is also how simple you can keep this routine so that you also feel the moisturizing benefits out of it and that if you're suffering from like moisture loss or you have dehydrated skin or dry skin, then this can also be very effective. Now I do also hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please also don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And yeah, I will see you soon in the next one and happy skin caring. Bye.